please read this disclaimer carefully before proceeding further. Welcome traders to this week's analysis of indices. My name is Vic. Thanks for joining me in this analysis. We'll be covering S&P 500, US 30, Dow Jones, um, NASDAQ, FTSE 100, and uh, somebody actually has requested uh, to cover Nifty as well, which is India's uh, uh, top 50 companies index so let's start with S&P 500 because that's the mother of all indices nearly everything actually follows uh, S&P 500 by the way if you have not actually seen the DXY analysis go and check that out because that's very very important and uh, dollar is actually at a pivotal point so anything can happen in there and if anything happens in the dollar then it will start impacting uh, other uh, other currency pairs and indices as well so this is what we have on 12 month time frame on s p 500 what we see that market is overstretching itself now to like you know form a candle which is usually a sign of a bearish um, reversal right now what you can see that uh, because this year has not been and has not ended it can actually go a little bit further up and complete without um, uh, an upper wick and if that happens then there are more chances or chances of it actually falling down in the next year it may not be straightforward but that's that's what it is looking like however if it actually starts to fall down right now um, uh, before the end of end of this year then that can change the story what I mean by that is something like this instead of actually creating a candle like this with the body of the candle like this it actually creates a candle with an upper wick something like this and then have another body another wick sorry at the bottom of it something like this so that is still a bearish scenario but the better bearish scenario is going to be when this actually completes something like this so the lowest lowest the wick better it is going to be um, for a bearish scenario next year so you have to be careful with that i'm not suggesting anything as of now i'm just showing the probability based on the candlestick analysis on the chart i'm just presenting my opinion on this okay now what we have here is that we have a very important level which is this one because this is where this entire overstretching actually is happening because the market was actually falling down but uh, because it got pushed up and it wanted to go above the previous high it wanted to close above the previous high that's why this level is very very important not because of support and resistance you have to think about the market behavior like candlesticks uh, patterns are also showing you market behavior okay so if I go to the monthly time frame that level is actually very very important for us because if that gets broken then we are looking for a downward move okay okay if I look at the monthly time frame what I see that market is creating a v-shape kind of like in a pattern but there is no v-shape kind of pattern everything is either W or M so, and all you have to do is just go and look at a lower time frame you will notice that this is actually a W pattern and this is what we have okay and if that is the case then market is supposed to go down and it did it tried to come back up it tried to, and then it did again so what you notice right now in terms of observation is that this can be considered as like you know kind of like you know triple top so far it has not been able to close above the previous high but it can if even if it does we that will still present us with a bearish scenario so let me actually go back to uh, the 12 month time frame once again and put that high right there okay so if I come back on weekly time frame that's the current high okay if the market actually goes up there around 37,000 the 3700 that looks like a very good round number if it actually goes there towards the end of this year and closes around there that will leave with uh, let that will leave us with very little wick right at the round number so that will be a good bearish scenario for it okay right now this is looking like a triple top and we have a w pattern as well and if i draw fibonacci on it this is right on that fibonacci level and there'll be another right there so this is what we are looking for 
this is my um, based on other few factors um, this is my FCP zone okay so the market has come into FCP zone and started to fall down but if it actually goes and closes in there then we have a bearish scenario right now also we have a bearish scenario as long as it is not closing above the previous high of 3587 level so um, what can we see we can also see that market has created this W pattern and uh, last week I was personally able to take a short trade dated shorts uh, based on this W pattern because if I draw Fibonacci on it it came right into 13 and that means the market was supposed to go down this turned out to be very good day trade okay you will also notice that market is creating this v-shape but i told you like you know there is nothing called v-shape it's always a w pattern right so it's always um, a w pattern if you're not able to spot this this is a w pattern an extended w pattern sort of um, pattern which we have okay so what we are looking for again is we are looking at a four hour time frame and we know that you know the market can come into this fcb zone so if you are looking for a long position then this is your moment because if you get a good confirmation around this level of 3583 then you can look for a long position into this now there is a w pattern even here as well which actually tells me that market is supposed to come to this level and this level so there is very good zone inside the zone okay so this can be a very good level where the market can actually start to move upwards if you get a good confirmation here if you do not if you get a confirmation to the downside then you're looking for an m pattern which is like this something like this okay so if that is the case then we should be drawing Fibonacci on this to see where it can go to okay that basically means that we are looking for approximately this level here okay so if you get a confirmation to go short then go short and this is going to be your target and if you're looking for confirmation to go long then this is going to be your target okay so this is what we have on s p 500 if you found this useful then make sure that you hit the like button and in the comment section let me know what you think about this analysis there is a lot of free education a lot of free analysis going in there so make sure that you um, show some gratitude okay now if i go to us 30 now us 30 is kind of like you know following the similar sort of thing here but it is little lagging behind so as to say if i what i mean by that is you see the same kind of structure but S&P 500 is overextended, US 30 is not, okay. So this is following the same structure, but it is little less overextended. That basically means so far it has not been able to actually go and close above this previous high. That actually gives us a very good opportunity. You see, what we have right now is a W pattern here and the market fell down and then market came back to create a kind of like in you know, a double top divergence based double top or something like that but this is not like in you know, a textbook double top but you will see in they are in the same approximate same zone or same level something like that okay so we are looking for a short position like this and uh, if the market actually gives us that confirmation then we can go for short um, however there is a good case for long trade as well so this is the level that i'm looking for and uh, it needs to go through this level first and if the market starts to go down then i'm looking for this level here and if i go to the daily time frame what we see that market has created this w pattern once again and if i draw fibonacci on it i know this is going to be 1.272 level okay um, so this is looking like a very good level where the market can actually reverse from but and it did actually last week but now it wants to go back up probably approximately to this level because we have a very good round number of 3000 market came here fell down and it perform it wants to perform another uh, retest of that uh, i will also be monitoring something around um, this level as well so if i go to the four hour 
what we see that Margit is creating a W pattern here. Okay, and formation of W pattern is actually a bullish scenario. So if you're looking for a long right now as a short term trade, then you can, based on your confirmation, you can look for a trade into this level. And once that is broken, then you can look for something like into this. Okay, and if I draw Fibonacci on it, it will automatically start to show me um, where the market wants to go to. So the market actually wants to come to this level, um, but there can be an intermediate level somewhere around here. So these are the levels that we're looking at. At each level, we look for a potential opportunity to either go long or short, depending on our confirmation technique. So if you're looking for a long, then that's your scenario. If you're looking for a short, and if you get a confirmation to go short, okay, so for that you need to go to a little bit lower time frame and find those levels. So these are two levels which we have. Okay, so you're looking for something like this. Okay, right, and I, I should actually draw your attention to this gap which is around here at 28417 so if you are building a position um, then that is going to be your W pattern and ultimately following this target all the way down to somewhere around here where we have this moving average and that confluences nicely with the previous uh, gap which was left over here so that's what we have on um, US 30 Dow Jones okay let's move on to Nasdaq okay on Nasdaq uh, let's go to the 12 month time frame again this is kind of overextended here if it actually closes over around this level where we had the uh, we where we have very little wick at the top then we can look for a downward move next year okay um, if I go to the monthly time frame it's in the process of creating a double or triple top right now and you will also notice there are very good Fibonacci confluences here if I draw Fibonacci on this you will see that my, okay not here sorry I picked my wrong Fibonacci here okay this is the one okay you'll see that market has come to 16.18 which is an important level and you will also notice that market is all creating 1618 here so this is a very important zone that we have on monthly time frame okay so market may actually start to create a downward move before it actually is before it actually decides whether it wants to go up any up or down so there can be a downward move next month but because this month is not over they, that downward move can be towards the end of this month to come all the way down what I mean by that is towards the end of this month this can actually start to fall down this is what we saw in um, gold okay earlier this month if I just remove this earlier this month this was actually forming a good bullish candle but towards um, the mid of this week it has it started to go back down okay and the similar sort of um, thing is happening on Nasdaq so right now you see these two candles and then market is bullish but towards the end of this week uh, end of this month it may start to come back and turn into a complete bearish candle so that is quite a possibility there so if I look for if I go here I see that market is creating well, uh, market is creating a kind of triple top here so far market has not been able to violate that level that we found of 12167 it has not been able to violate that level so we have a triple top there and you will notice that similar sort of thing is happening probably in S&P 500 and US 30 as well they are not exactly triple top but you see the market is has tried once twice thrice and uh, similarly in Nasdaq as well once twice thrice so it has tested it three times Okay, so what we're looking for clearly is that if, um, is, is a short position here, uh, not a long position, as long as it stays within these 
boundaries okay if it actually goes beyond these boundaries then only we are looking for a long position okay and uh, there has been a lot of consolidation so we have very good fcpw and m patterns here and uh, if i'm looking for an opportunity for short here then i should go to the four hour time frame to see what we have okay because we're looking for a short here um actually we'll look for both bullish and uh, sh uh, bearish opportunities if you're looking for bullish opportunities then this is the level that you're looking for if that is broken then you're looking for this level okay and if you're looking for a short opportunity then also i'll suggest that this is going to be a better level to look for um, so and it's something like this however if the market starts to fall then you're looking for a short opportunity from that all the way down to this level because you can see that market is creating an m pattern and, form and formation of M pattern is a bearish scenario. So the market can come down to that. And the next level that you're looking for is somewhere around here. Okay. So this is what we have on NASDAQ. If you enjoyed this uh, free education and analysis, make sure that you show some gratitude and support and um, hit the like button in the comment section let me know what you think about this analysis and what is your opinion please do not forget to share this video with other traders and trading communities that's how we learn and earn together let's look at uh, fitzy 100 okay uh, fitzy 100 has been uh, in consolidation we have been looking into that for some time and they have been good short-term trades you see that corrective structure now the market has broken through that now i do not actually particularly trade these channels and all that for me everything is consolidation it's a downward consolidation but nonetheless this is consolidation and when you have consolidations what do you have you have a lot of wnm patterns so if you know what to how to trade those fcp wnm patterns with fibonacci ratios and specific techniques then you know what i'm talking about if you want to learn more about it then um, go and check out um, the trading at uh, sorry the training program that we have you'll find a link to that in the description of this video so if i come to the monthly time frame what i see that market has created a sort of like a you know, double bottom here and then market is looking for an upward move and this is actually giving us a very good opportunity right now to go for a long trade into something like this so believe it or not uh, uk stock market is actually looking pretty good if it actually breaks through this level then we're looking for something like this okay. so if this is broken then we're looking for the next level around 7343 3, something like that okay um, if i go to the weekly time frame what we see that market is creating that W pattern that we just saw, right? But that level is very important for it uh, to break. So 6500 level is actually very important. There is a round number there as well. And what we have here is, is that we probably have an extended W pattern inside the structure as well. So, okay. Yeah, this is looking absolutely brilliant, okay. Right, so if you're looking for a short position or if your confirmation technique gives you a short signal, then you're looking for a short back into this 200 moving average and then you can look for a long if you want to, okay. So that is an important level. Otherwise, if you get a confirmation to go long, then you can go long up to 6500 and then you must wait for further confirmation to see whether market wants to go up or not and based on that you should trade okay and what we have here is it's kind of overextended pattern which is 1618 that means there are good chances that market may start to come back down into this level so that is what we have if i go to the four hour time frame I see that market was kind of like in a parabolic sort of move it is not stopping at all so whoever took this um, UK 100 trade congratulations to them this is like in a very very good trade 
I have not been trading UK 100, especially around uh, UK elections time. I took a little break. So, um, I, but I will be monitoring uh, more of the price section on uh, UK 100. What we have here is that market is probably creating a W pattern once again. Um, if you're not able to spot this, this is what we have. Right. So if the market comes somewhere around here, then I'm looking for a short. Okay. And if it actually continues to go through this level, then I'm looking for a long trade. Okay. So how do we find where is W pattern? Okay. So somewhere around here is going to be our zone okay so that's what we're looking for um, on UK 100 which is FTSE 100 the next one on the list is uh, nifty okay uh, I could not find a better uh, data provider for nifty on um, uh, trading view um, there are a lot of gaps in there this, the candles are very very weird uh, but let's give it a try anyway so what we see again similar sort of structure the market is creating a V but we know that it is not a V it is actually a W right and you will notice that the market is giving us a very good opportunity this is just about to reach this and after that it is going to fall so W pattern is there are multiple W patterns here one is like this second one is like this third one is like this okay so there are three w patterns that we have that means the market is supposed to go down at some point in time and what we are looking for is a confirmation and in, in a particular area so this is looking like a very good very very good trade opportunity yes perfect perfect okay so what we have here is that we have an FCP zone so um, thanks for suggesting this because this is going to give uh, me personally a very good opportunity to trade an FT as well um, so if the market actually comes here then I can look for a short trade however for it to come there it needs to be bullish right and we are looking at weekly time frame so that means we are looking for a long trade and because of the because of the price action like now there's there is so much of these gaps because of the data provider um i cannot like you know, tell you um i cannot give you a proper analysis because of these um, uh, continuous gaps um, but what i can see that market is creating sort of like an equal move or abcd kind of move so what it means is something like this yeah so if this is kind of equal move and if I draw Fibonacci on this okay right now it is standing at a level where it can fall from because of that equal move so market may actually start to fall down but if you get a confirmation to go long then you can go long into uh, this level of 13,000 which is good round number and this is there is an FCP zone so it can actually go stretch towards 13200 level as well and if it reaches there then we are looking for a short so we're looking for a short from there we're looking for a long uh, sorry short from here and looking for a long into this okay otherwise if we get a long opportunity then we're looking for something like this okay so that's the plan for uh, nifty so uh, this concludes our analysis um, of indices we have covered s p 500 us 30 uh, nasdaq fitzy 100 and then we have covered nifty as well hope you enjoyed this make sure that you hit the like button and in the comment section let me know what you think about this analysis what is your opinion and make sure that you share it with other traders and trading communities. Thank you. If you are interested in learning how to analyze the markets the way I do using Fibonacci Confluence, then head over to Vikinsa.com and under training section you will be able to see core strategy training program 
on this page you will be able to see the testimonials of previous students and also uh, look at the brochure brochure has a lot more information including the course structure and the Fibonacci Confluence training program curriculum. This is a very extensive program in which we cover basic core Fibonacci concepts along with the advanced concepts to analyze the markets with high probability. If you are interested in joining this program, come to vacancer.com and under training section, you'll be able to see and submit this form.